set your culinary adventures on fire with delicious in dungeon or dungeon meshy i said it before and i will say it again i love this anime it is fantastic so episode 23 part one griffin soup slash dumplings wow this show is brilliant absolutely bloody brilliant folks is it's definitely a 10 out of 10 a 10 out of 10 so if you're unaware what delicious in dungeon is it's a japanese manga series written and illustrated by roko kui sorry if i butchered your name and she is a fantastic little animation artist and it's this show is fantasy slash comedy with adventure elements it's basically dungeons and dragons the story unfolds in this fantasy world adventurers explore dungeons seeking treasures and battling monsters so the plot overview our main group is searching for their lost sister their lost spellcaster who was eaten by a red dragon moments before she cast a spell to get everyone safely out of a dungeon realizing this her brother laos and the group decided we need to get back in we can't waste any time she's been eaten by a dragon but dragon's um, metabolism is much different from humans so they needed to get back in there and rescue but with a culinary twist with no money no no supplies they go headfirst into the dungeon instead of uh, with a backpack full of food they're just going to chop monsters down and just devour the monsters which puts a whole lot of his group off <laughs> the themes of the show is adventure it's humor it's creative blend of delicious food delicious anime food it just looks absolutely bloody awesome it's mysterious it's captivating the quality of this show is just 10 out of 10 i stumbled across this and ever since i watched it i fell in love i fell in love so here we go we go on episode 23 griffin slash dumplings the only my only bug my only bug with this with this episode with the music there's no end credits the opening intro we come to start love that song it was lacking musical wise everything else was on point everything else the story was 10 out of 10 the animation 10 out of 10 the voice acting just superb superb and we start off with senshi taking us on a backstory of his past senshi was a young dwarf part of a mining expedition group they stumbled upon this very dungeon they are in but back then it was glorious it was golden it was a golden castle senshi and his group were captivated by the golden splendor Senshi had second thoughts and tried to dissuade his group from exploring it further. As they ventured into the castle, strange things started to happen. The group members disappeared, supplies went missing and arguments became frequent. Gillian, who looked after Senshi, he was like a father figure. He didn't want him to witness the group's decline to just three remaining members. An argument ensued and Gillian decided to take the argument outside, away from Senshi's eyes. Only Gillian returned with a mysterious ball of meaty soup. Senshi was hungry and tired, and he scoffed it all down. All of the time, at the back of his mind, he was wondering, was it human or was it Griffin? And this is the reason why senshi has been in the dungeon for this many years he's been searching for that taste searching was it really human meat he enjoyed that question always there always niggling as this brings us to laos with a griffin off the gordon ramses of the dungeon griffin meat at their sides laos innocent but enthusiastic suggests hey senshi let's cook up this bad boy Senshi's face and the whole group's face was like, we can't believe you did this. You've just put your foot right in it. But Laos's enthusiasm and innocence was, we want to get to the bottom of this answer. Let's do it. 
They fire up that campfire, toss on the griffin meat, and prepare a griffin bowl of soup. The aroma filled the dungeon with wonder, splendor, and somewhat anticipation. Senchi took a mouthful. Tears streamed. Did he really eat human that day? Because this wasn't the taste. Laos finally had the idea. Came out of nowhere. He remembered of the mushrooms Senchi had pointed out in the previous episode. Plot points. He realized this circle of mushrooms was a poisonous, evil circle of mushrooms, turning whoever entered the circle into a mystery item. The group realized it wasn't quite a griffin they had killed. It was a hippo griff, half horse, half bird. Realizing this, Laos puts the meat in the circle, transforming it back to its original form. They have another cook off. Grill at the ready, they cook off. They produce another meaty bowl of soup. Senchi is overjoyed. It wasn't human that day. It was always hippo griff. This sequence of events just, you just realize how how together this group is and they're still the three of them laos chilchuk and marcel know each other very well but senshi and itsumitsi i butchered that name i do apologize they are still outsiders they are still you they still don't know each other well enough um but they realize you know we're part of this group as well and they care for us as much as we care for them again this episode is so law heavy and it's just fantastic fantastic and the next part of the episode i'm sorry for all the spoilers i hope it hasn't spoiled the show for you but the next part of the show they happen to walk through this uh, circle of mushrooms which this sequence this animation was absolutely beautiful just that mushroom just popping was exuding mist into the group is beautifully done beautifully done and it changes them all for the better and for the worst senshi a beautiful elf <laughs> marcel a halfling chilchuk or to the group mr chilchuk is a tall man a middle-aged tall man and laos is a powerful dwarf and as all always laos is so enthusiastic so happy so yes i can do this even better now and because this is part one this ends with another, not a cliffhanger, but a. it just ends. Waiting for next week's episode. Can't wait for episode 24. I'm going to have to get into the manga itself, uh, but I don't want spoilers either. Um, I'm just so curious of how long we're going to get of this, of this beautiful show. I have heard that Trigger only do one season and then they're done. I, I don't know how true that is. I hope it isn't. If you know, let me know in the comment section please i, I there's something i'm dying to know and um, because i want more of this the m i want so much more of this program it's absolutely mind-bending i'm i'm giving it a 9.1 this episode 9.1 absolutely fantastic law heavy not much accent action not much music but everything everything was on point the animation the voice acting the direction the it was just all on point, and that's why I give it such a high score, 9.1. Anyway, if you like this video, smash that like button, and please think about subscribing to me. That would be absolutely awesome. If you like this style of content, let me know. Get in them comments section and give me a big old thumbs up. That would be awesome. If you didn't like the video, I thank you anyway for staying till this long. I really do appreciate it. And on that note, are humans really delicious in Dungeon? I will see you in my next video. Peace. Nice.